Welcome back to Read Becca. I um, <laughs> I was going to say you can't imagine how excited I am, but you're exactly <laughs> the people who would know how excited I am uh, because my library is reopening. Yes. So uh, they reopened this week and I am a major library user um, through the pandemic. I have been using all overdrive and they have had curbside service, but I have not used it. So before everything, uh, I used to go maybe once or twice a week, just even to browse. And I love my library. The nearest branch to me is about a 10 minute walk. So a nice day, I would just walk up there and then spend an hour walking through the shelves and walk home. So needless to say, I'm so excited to be able to go back and actually browse. Um, I will probably wait until my shot is in full effect, which will be next week. Um, everything with my shot did go fine this past weekend. So I was vaccinated on Thursday night and as kind of expected, Friday I had some fever overnight and that was about it. I've had minor chills through the week. Uh, I did get the COVID arm, which is like a, a red, kind of swollen circle, but it's completely harmless, so not a big deal. So it was it was not a huge uh not a huge thing for me. I wasn't too laid up. But I didn't get any real reading done over last weekend. I did read three children's books, uh, which I did a full review for. Um, I'll link that down below. Those were When You Trap a Tiger by Tay Keller, uh, Once Upon a Unicorn's Horn, and Once Upon a Dragon's Fire by Beatrice Blue. So those were what I read last weekend. Um, and then I also have, have read and completed my beta read that I mentioned. So that is done, thank goodness. And I just was kind of having a really, really low week. I think I'm still slumping a little bit. Uh, like I mentioned last time around, I haven't found something that is pulling me in as much as Sorrowland did. But I had started Tiny Pretty Things by Sona Chaipotra and uh, Danielle Clayton. And that is like a really fast paced YA ballet thriller. And there's a TV adaptation. So I've watched the TV adaptation. I had wanted to read it before the adaptation, but I didn't I get to it. So I, I actually had the book and started it and then lost it. So I was waiting on the hold list to get back to it. And it just came back two weeks early. So I think that is going to hopefully pull me out of my slump with some really fast pacey reading. So I have that one up for this weekend. Then I have, uh, what else do I have? I have got uh, Can't Take That Away by Stephen Salvatore. And that has been going well so far. I really like uh, the fact that it has uh, pronouns at the chapter headers. So it was uh, following kind of what I was expecting where the protagonist is genderqueer and they have come out, um, they're dealing with some bullying. So that is something to be aware of as far as triggers. Uh, they also have anxiety. And so it really kind of just jumps right into that. Um, and so far, very interesting that it's kind of going back and forth between uh, them being at school and dealing with that and then being in therapy, which is not something I've seen before. Uh, so really liking it so far and I wanna get into that this weekend. So I'm really looking forward to those. And then I have the last little tiny bit of the Aeronauts Windlass to finish. And I actually lost the uh, audiobook, So I will be finishing it on print. And that has been fine. It's, I don't know. I feel like, can I just rant for a minute? Uh, it's, it's an okay book. If it's your favorite book, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but just the amount of air in the fantasy conversation that is taken up by kind of mediocre male authors is crazy to me. Um, there is, I've, I've now read, I think, 18, 19 books by Jim Butcher. And like I said, they've, they've all been fine. There's nothing terrible about most of them. 
but there's just not a single thing that I could say that is written or done exceptionally in any of the books so far. Um, they're very entertaining, they're really fast to read, so they certainly, you know, have an audience, but it just <laughs> blows my mind that, that the amount of time is spent talking about them. So I'm not going to review that one. Whatever. It's, you know, kind of basically reminds me of Fast and the Furious. It really is scattered and fast-paced, and that's about what you can expect from it. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so hoping to finish that one up this weekend. Um, and then I don't actually know what I'm going to be reading on audio, so uh, I need to find a new audiobook. And I, I think I was looking at Lyrio, but I haven't actually checked to see if it's still available from the library. So I will probably try and jump into that. So that is what's going on right now. Um, otherwise, in my life, my dog got his stitches out. He's doing really well, uh, healed up, and kind of acting normal. He's ready to be out walking all the time. So uh, we've had really lovely weather, and we have been in enjoying the sunshine out there. So um, that has been great. So I think that is pretty much it. Um, I have one thing I want to point you to. I found a, a fantasy reviewer um, who is called <laughs> Fantasty Reviews. And it is a blog that reviews fantasy novels and provides a tasty recipe. So I really love that premise and I thought I would recommend it to you all. So that's it for me this weekend. I hope you all have a great weekend. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more, please like and subscribe.